I couldn't sleep last night. I have been taking this thing home with me every single night, waking up early every morning. I've never been so excited about a jet in my life here. And uh, we finally got the form and I'm, I mean, it's kind of like a mix of cartoon, Wile E. Coyote, Marvin the Martian, and Art Deco all together, which makes my heart so happy. Um, got the wings done. There's not a good fit. Um, in John's words, I'm gonna have to do some Angry Beaver and chop and slice and scan, but that's okay, because we are ready for a test glide. So in typical fashion with anything we design before we put any electronics in it, we want to make sure it glides. And that's whether it's the flying pig leg over my shoulder, a battleship, or even this jet. So I'm gonna go ahead and I think I got it glued down. Dave, you ready for me to throw this at your face? Oh, it is ridiculously light, my friend. All right, so I feel like the center of gravity is like right here. I think it's gonna be pretty close as it is, but get ready for something weird. Ready? Oh boy. It's not very directly stable. I don't know if I should do it. Do it. Okay, that, that looks really good, actually. It does. A little bit tail heavy? Or nose heavy, I mean? Uh, was it? It felt nose heavy. Let me see if I could just throw a battery in the butt. I want to see it glide across the room, like, just let me nose up. You that was see? still nose heavy, wasn't it? Yeah. It dove down. This is probably why all of our batteries are dented. It's <laughs> a good possibility. Incredible. You ready? I don't know if this will work. Whoa! Ooh! Ooh! Ooh, I barely caught that too. <laughs> well, we found out where the uh, moment. I'm trying to grab it. Uh, it still nosing down a little bit. Okay, I think, you know what I think we're gonna do? We're just about where the CG is. I almost think we need to just. We got a decent glide. Just a I think you should just way. try it. Just put see what it does. Yeah. So, and I think rather than EDF right now, um, because I noticed when I put the EDF in, I got a car out of the wing. I'm just going to put a motor on the back and see if it flies. Gotcha. And we'll have the torque issue, but at least we'll know if it actually works. Awesome. Okay. Can't wait to see it. Let's do it. You ready, bud? Yes, sir. All right, let's see if let's there's anything left of this later. Guys, what's your gut check? Uh, Stephen, what's your gut check? Do you think this flack is like, this whole, whole thing was designed to be a fun cartoony exercise? <laughs> Listen, I don't know if you know this, Josh, but a lot of your planes are cartoony, and they fly I, great. I got cartoony problems. <laughs> yeah, cartoony problems. It's, dude, it's all drag, though. We have a tiny little prop that shoots out maybe an inch on each side. Yeah, I see that. Which I can't imagine is good. There's no ventilation going through the duct. It's just pure drag. Yep. So, yep. And it's a wing, so you have to make sure your uh, reflex and balance is good. Yeah. So. It's great. Well, our, our launching gives me high hopes on that. Why don't we just launch it right here? Why don't it just take me that way? Just right at the, right at yeah. the, uh, let me hey, let me run up. You do you, hold up. Ready? <laughs> Does it feel like it pushes it? I feel, I feel like the, I feel like the Pillsbury Doughboy. It, it sounds like a button. nice EDF, doesn't it? It does. It does. Nice. I hope this works, because then we'll be able to do EDF or prop. All right, so we got Michael going in the air. This could all be for like five seconds. Yeah. <laughs> Are you ready, Stephanie? Yes. Can you give me a countdown? Yeah. Three, two, one. Ah! Ah! Let go! Let's go! Let's go! Cartoon planes fly! Wow. Cartoon planes fly! <laughs> <laughs> Give me the rocket! Give me the rocket bang! This is one of the luckiest guys alive. Like, he just you know, he just randomly throws stuff in the air and it works every time. Rocket man! Hashtag happy accent. Dude, look at this thing. Off the aura. <laughs> so we wanted a trainer jet, but I never thought it would look like something like this. How's it how's it chasing, Mike? It's, it's so weird to look at. <laughs> the story of my life. <laughs> the story of my life. All right, let's do a close, low pass here. Yes. <laughs> oh, thank you. Oh. Let's try it vertically. Oh. So this is three cell 2200, and it actually has decent punch, and that's my battery. Uh oh, on my that's transmitter. Oh, your transmitter. Oh, that's not good. <laughs> oh man. Oh, uh, no pass the transmitter right. today. Low, low level, low inverted. Oh, oh, oh yeah. <laughs> is it bad? Is it hard? Watch out! Go up! Watch out! Whoops! <laughs> Got him! What a great dive! I what really a, thought you cleared it. I thought you were clear like dive like 10 feet! Oh, that's my tension line too. <laughs> well, I had to land it quickly. <laughs> I rolled it, I wanted to do inverted pass it was so stable, and it was even more stable, but then I was like, oh shoot, I'm really low. Oh shoot. <laughs> like, I think you might have ripped the motor off. I think so, let's go check out <laughs> the damage. Let's go check the damage. Woo! 
Oh my well, god. At least it flies. I, I think I think it ripped the battery off and then ripped the motor off. I think that's all <laughs> like it happened. Like you just grazed it. Yeah, well, and it's funny because I did the wrong I did an early irresponsible thing. I don't even have paper on this. It's just <laughs> it. It just I mean it when off. whenever we go to maiden anything, we just get down and dirty and, and just like slap it together and True. it doesn't matter what it looks like. We just want to see if it flies. So here's what we do. We we know it flies, we have the center of gravity established, we have thrust angle established. I'm gonna go back to the drawing board, I'm gonna redraw this now because it can't just fly good, but it has to be easy to build, easy to fly, and consistent. Yep. There's nothing consistent about this one. <laughs> So, um, and we got to try it as an EDF, because imagine if we could fly like a trainer like this. Yeah. And then go to six style EDF. Yes, yeah, that's awesome. I don't know how it would ever be fast because it's so tubby, but we'll find out. Let's get All it. All right, back to the drawing board. There you go. Now, this project is really special to me because there's a lot of firsts. Uh, one thing that's a first for me is I've never ever in all the planes I've designed, designed an EDF plane. A matter of fact, many times in the videos, you've even heard me say that I really don't like EDF jets. Now. With John Overstreet coming in with his amazing F-18 and so many other amazing jets, I started to really warm up to the idea. Along with that, I've never tried a Master Series design as well because if you guys know, I mainly draw on a two-dimensional CAD program like Corel Draw. Now this means I'm learning a lot of new things and that's actually been incredibly difficult for me this past uh, you know, three, four months. Uh, I don't know if you guys know this, but I'm 45 years old and I really noticed uh, in the last three months of this last year that my health started kind of struggling a little bit more, my concentration, my energy, my joints started hurting a lot more. And for that, I privately made a choice to get off of caffeine and start trying different things. And what I came across was, was something called mushroom matcha from Rise. Now this wasn't something where Rise actually came out and said, hey, try our stuff. This was a personal choice to try to get control of my concentration and my health a little bit better. This is actually something that impacted me in such a positive way, I introduced it to the whole team. The increased concentration and energy has really played a crucial role in helping me to learn 3D CAD and be able to design things more like the Master Series designs that our good friend John Overstreet does. This is also gonna be my first EDF with a really fun cartoony twist. I wanna add lots of versatility to this design, but right now, I went ahead and modified the retro rocket to fit a 70 millimeter fan, and we're gonna take it out and fly it right now. Oh, <laughs> that's got some juice. It's got sausage. Good thing I did my hair today. <laughs> <laughs> my hat would've flew off. Mama, mama, mama. <laughs> it's not even mama. <laughs> Give ready? me the beast. You ready, Bob? I'm ready. All right, let's do this. Okay, so uh, where are we flying this at? We're Here? Fly at Adam's, uh, ready board runway. Runway. Sweet. So if you don't know, the uh, reason we call it Ready Board Runway is uh, Adam's, our foam supplier, Ready Board, um, they've been, man, Josh, they've been they've partnering been with us on this. Beginning. Runway. Yeah, yeah. I mean, this runway has never changed names once. Yes, it's and, fantastic. And on top of that, they're the reason why we were able to come out with the classic flight test foam, the brown water resistant foam, the maker foam. Now, something really cool about the fact that we work with Adams, but also, you know, we want people to be able to get in the hobby. We have right. over 90 different presets of plans you guys can download. You can get our maker foam, which is water resistant, paintable, but you can also go to the dollar store and get Adams Ready Board. Don't go to Elmer's, don't go to Ross. They're not gonna, one's gonna be too heavy, one's gonna be too weak. But the uh, the dollar 25 a sheet mm -hmm. Adams Ready Board, you can build any of our planes off of those free plans and have a great experience. Yeah. The only cool. difference is it's just not waterproof. Truth. <laughs> Let's go down and put it in the lid here. All right. Does she Where scoot on the ground? I don't know. Ready? Yeah. Oh! <laughs> I didn't even have to launch him! I didn't have to launch him! Did, did right, she so scoot? We had, we had a little bit more of a successful flight than we let on. I you jubers. Look at that sucker! Oh, man! <laughs> You tricked me. He straight up hands off. Noah, he tricked, he tricked me. He knew. And what a great time this is. This thing looks absolutely hilarious. That's full up, by the way. Look, look at those bones. <laughs> She's like a little porpoising dolphin. <laughs> oh, oh, the control looks solid. It's ridiculous. All right. All right. Let's go! So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna perfect this. Yes. We're gonna make it kittable. We're yes. gonna get Stefan a kit. Anyone that basically wants a kit on the team, we're gonna build a whole bunch of these. You get a kit and you get a kit. I think we're not done with it either. I, we have robot retracts. Yes. And we have yet to ever do a, a plane with retracts in design. Yes. 
So I think what we're gonna do, since we have some time on this, we're gonna see if we can design the retracts in. And then Dave, I'm, I'm throwing you on the bus. As good as that taxis, could you design me some skids and some awesome stuff for it? Possibly. <laughs> we're gonna see, just like the flurkin, we're gonna see how many different ways we can make this thing go and how yeah. cool we can make it be. And then I think we gotta come back and Dude, then play past the transmitter. This is absolutely a blast. <laughs> I cannot believe this happened this well. Josh, well done, bro. Thanks, my friend. Great All work. right, we got work to do. Now, I do want to design a landing gear for this, but also we have a prop version. We have an EDF version. I think we should make a prop driven thrust factoring version. And if this works, this could give us the ability to do some really crazy maneuvers like flat spins, pinwheels, maybe even make it go on end over end. It's such a stubby little airplane. I think it's going to work really well. Now, we have a good friend named Dr. Fish Killer who designed a really cool Mighty Mini thrust vectoring pod. Dave's going to print that out for me. We're going to put it in and we'll see how it works. So we learned a lot with the 3D printed version of the thrust vectoring and unfortunately it just didn't go the way I thought it was going to go. Uh, we didn't have enough throw and it really didn't give me the yaw input or the pitch input I wanted. Uh, but we did learn a lot. For that reason we designed a simple plywood thrust vectoring system and if this works, this will not only be useful on the retro rocket but probably a lot of other designs as well too. I'm going to go ahead and use our zap, we're going to put it together and then we see how it flies. My hope is that we can draw this up. We can get some really good flat spins, pinwheels, and if it'll work, I've already enlarged it because our plans on this whole project is to make a larger made-to-order version that you guys can get that's 185% of the original Retro Rocket. If this thrust vectoring system works, I'm gonna take those files, we're gonna send it over to our good friends at PCB Way. We're gonna have one made out of carbon fiber because frankly, the bigger motor's gonna need a lot stronger material than basic plywood. Whenever we do major prototyping, especially when it's from specialized materials, whether it's PCB, carbon fiber, we send it to our friends at PCB Way because they can take it from a prototype to a reality in a matter of a couple weeks. If you guys have any ideas that you want to make a reality, check out our good friends at PCB Way. They can make it happen for you. All right, ready? Wow. I know. <laughs> So when we did the 3D printed one, it was really awesome, but it had a little bit of play and it had a lot less throw. And it didn't give us the effects that we really wanted, but we noticed the pitch wasn't as awesome as we hoped. So we went ahead and redesigned a wooden version that can give us a lot more throw and virtually has no uh, slop whatsoever in it. It's also gyro controlled. Now, all these different configurations with the Aura I'm saving, and what we can do is we can post that. So whether you guys like the version with the rudder crow and the full air brakes, or you like this version, you can just download the config file. Uh, but Noah, this is yours. You want to take it out and we'll test fly it and see yeah, what it does? Yeah, let's do it. I want a flat spin. That's all I want to be able to do. And also, taking off, I want to be able to like have yaw. So, awesome. Let's do it. Can't wait. It's fine. I think we have a couple uh, free slots. <laughs> I feel like if we just throw it kind of like, hey, we can go down one. I don't really care. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, let's see what happens. It'll be fun. Ready? You ready, Noah? Ready. Hold it! Hold it! It's upside down! It's the flat bit upside down! That's the first way the flat bit upside down! And look, you can turn it just like a rudder. I'll do it with a rudder. Alright, you ready? Inverted! Oh my god! <laughs> Are you in the tree? I'm in the tree! I got greedy! Where are you at? Uh, I'm up in the tree! <laughs> Alright, so that was a blast. Noah is still out there trying to get that retro rocket out of the tree. But we have learned so much in this episode. Now the cool thing is, is we've been able to take everything we've learned from the thrust vectoring unit to the prop driven and also the EDF and we have finalized that and the Retro Rocket is now available on the store with all the great features that we've been experimenting with within this video. That's the optional landing gear, that's the thrust vectoring, that's a prop driven power add-on, and it's also the EDF version. Along with that we've added three really cool decal kits to give the Retro Rocket a really cool look. 
Now do us a big favor and hit that subscribe bell because next week we're gonna take all the finalized versions of our retro rocket and we are gonna have a ball with them and push them to the limits and possibly do some crash testing. And we have something really special that we're kicking off with the retro rocket. If you haven't already downloaded our free flight test app, now would be the time to do so. It's available for free on both Apple and Android. It gives you all of our content without any Google ads, gives you a great store experience, and it also has incredible features through our logbook, our badge system, and so much more. Now the Retro Rocket is the very first kit that we're gonna be releasing, and in the first 50, you're gonna find a piece of paper there with a special QR code. When you scan that QR code inside the app, it's gonna give you a one-of-a-kind custom gold Retro Rocket badge after this first 50, the special edition gold badge will be gone forever. And also, if you're on the fence on whether you have the skills needed to be able to fly the Retro Rocket, we've partnered with our good friends at Wings in an amazing way to add the Retro Rocket onto their simulator. This means that you can fly right here at Edgewater with your own Retro Rocket and have an amazing experience and also get the experience of how it flies. We're going to be unpacking so much more of this next week, and I want to thank each and every one of you for your support and for being part of the Flight Test family. Now I gotta go out and help Noah get this plane out of the tree. We'll see you next time. <laughs> <laughs> turn arrow. Turn arrow. You're like, it looks like an arrow with a turn on top of it. I'm like, it's not nice at all. I, I couldn't be mad at him because it's true. When <laughs> I'm chasing like, it too, I can't see That was not nice, definition. but it's true. What was that? When I'm chasing it, I can't really see the definition of the like, geometry. <laughs> <laughs>